Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you, and welcome to another episode of Strat Talk, the series where we talk about strategies for the game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This one is from a 5 versus 5 match between Fnatic and Envious. To give you a little bit of context about where we are right now, we see Envious sitting at 14 frags right now. They just lost four rounds in a row. They're so close to victory over Fnatic, but Fnatic got some steam and started destroying them. So they called a tactical pause. They do not have money to buy this round, and they had to plan this strategy to come back and try to win this game. This is game one of a best of five series. It is a grand final very important round coming up here. We see them planning at the moment. So what's been going on in the match as context? Fnatic has been pushing out B uh, very heavily at the start, not exactly taking it every time. Um, JW has been giving them a lot of trouble at the Skyfall with sawdoffs. That has just been a, a big crux in them. He's using the AWP this time, so he's probably going to watch for a counter boost. And they've also left players out here to watch the Lurk to see if the Envious players decided to push through here. So here they come on this anti-eco round. They know that they're saving, and Envious does something really interesting. So we're going to pause for just one second as that chicken explodes. Kenny S using his cloaking device here as well. So look at the inventory right now uh, for Envious, and we see they're doing a five-man stack at Bombsite B, so they're going to try to punish Fnatic. We'll watch. It's a really smart play. We're going to go over it. They buy three hand grenades. Uh, we have some pistol purchases, and then one smoke on NBK. These all come into play. This is all very, very, very set up. Let's watch it from an aerial perspective right here as Fnatic moves in. Now, notice they have the smoke grenade, but they're not throwing the smoke grenade to block off a B push. They want them to come B. They're trying to coax Fnatic to do their classic B rush because they have these three hand grenades set up to take them down. Look at this setup. They get Kenny up, Kenny S up, Kenny up, up by the uh, tree. We have all these players spread out, and check out the uh, smoke grenade on NBK. NBK is the player who is watching behind them at the drop zone. What that means is he, they don't want to engage JW there. They want to smoke that position off if they try to push it and just focus on the players pushing out here. So they want to try to trick them into pushing here. They want to nade stack it. Then they want to smoke off this position so that the players coming through here come this way and they have enough time to just focus on killing the players at B main. Really smart play, and this is an eco round. Envious is really great at eco rounds, so this is a team you got to watch for these. So here they come. We saw a attempt at a nade stack there by CTs to kill a player standing up close, which is very common on these rounds with CZ. There's the nade stack. Just got thrown. Happy with the final nade. And check that out. After the nade stack, those players are very low on health. 59 and 26. One player gets picked by Kenny S. JW falls back. NBK does throw the smoke there at the drop zone. They've even pushed a pair back to A just in case they try to take that bomb uh, to bomb site A. This round is so far looking really good for Envious. Now, they continue to try to push here at bomb site B, assuming maybe that they fell back or just... I don't know the reasoning of Fnatic to continue to push here, but watch Kenny S up there at that tree, expertly holding this off. JW doesn't even push down the drop zone. And over time, it does work out for Envious. As you'll see from the aerial perspective, Kenny S destroying them one at a time. Now at a four frag, JW very low at nine health. And he will consider this. He will push at the end using that smoke to get by. And the final kill will come down in just a second. I don't know. I found this a really interesting strategy. I found it really cool from Envious. They're counterplaying the enemy team. And there is the ace. And it's just a look into like how Envious is able to win these things. So that puts them at the match point. It gets them ahead economically. Brilliant round that definitely turned the momentum, turned the tide of this map. Now, you know what? Kenny S did get an ace on this. A lot of it comes down to individual skills, so I tell you what, Bobby, let's get back and get an Owl Vision on the Kenny Ace. You know, I tell people not to buy the sword off, and they say, J.W., but you ain't no J.W.